Hey everybody, this is Sunglass Rob from Sport RX, and today we're gonna talk about the Giro Vivid Lens Collection. Try and help you figure out which lens might be the best one for you. There's a lot to talk about. There's a lot of lenses. We're gonna go over it kind of nice and pragmatically, hopefully. But before we go into that, I just wanna quickly talk about what Vivid lenses are, what the deal is. So Vivid is a technology designed by Zeiss. If you don't know what Zeiss is, it's one of the biggest optical companies in the world. Basically in the 1800s, Carl Zeiss invented a new way to make microscopes and from that birthed one of the biggest, best optical companies in the world. And Giro, which is one of the largest goggle manufacturers and helmet manufacturers in the snow world has partnered with Zeiss to come out with these vivid lenses. And basically what Zeiss has done is optimized the light curvature to give you the most contrast and the best color kind of spectrum you can get out of these lenses. They allow some of the beneficial blue light in while trying to block the non-beneficial blue light. Basically the whole concept is they're using new dyes and new technologies to give you the most amount of contrast as you can possibly have. And of course, they're 100% UV protective. All right, so there's a lot of vivid lenses. I believe there's 14. We don't have every single one here on the table. I am gonna kind of go over, I think I'm probably gonna talk about all of them, even if they're here or not here. And we're gonna go from uh, lightest to darkest. And just so you know, there's some categories and what's called VLT. So VLT stands for visible light transmission. That's how much light is allowed to pass through the lens. The less light that passes through the lens, the darker it is. The more light that passes through the lens, the lighter it is. So there are some categories like, they even call it like an S0, which is basically clear. Those let in anywhere from 99 to 80% of light. Probably really good for like night riding. Then S1 is very commonly known as like a low light lens, an overcast day lens. Those usually let in about 43 to 79% of light. S2 is like a medium lens, works well in most conditions. It's kind of maybe not a universal lens, but kind of like a medium lens. Those let in from 19 to 42% of light. And then S3 are dark lenses. Those only let in between eight and 18% of light. That's gonna kind of be on this end of the table. And there's even an S4, which we don't have here today. Those let in anywhere from three to 7% of light. Those are for extremely bright conditions. Those are like for altitude, climbing Everest. Those are for like very small percentage of use case needs. But if you do need something that dark, it is pretty cool that S4 is available. All right, let's start talking about these colors. So the lightest lens that comes from the Apex family is an S1 lens. It's lets in 77% of light. It's in that like one category. Um, we don't have it here, so I'm gonna jump into the infrared lens. This one lets in 50% of light. It's got a rose base. It's definitely good for low light conditions, really gives you a lot of contrast, kind of a beautiful lens. So that is going to be the infrared lens. All right, the next one that we actually do have here is the smoke lens. That is this guy right here. This one lets in 28% of light. Uh, it's technically like a gray base, but because of that vivid technology, you're always gonna have some sort of rose kind of happening here. This one is gonna be pretty good for, you know, a lot of conditions. Some people don't love interchanging their lenses and they want just something kind of in the middle that's gonna work for most conditions. That's what these kind of next series are gonna do for you. So that's the smoke lens. All right, next on the list is the pink lens and guess what? It's pink, how fun is that? This one lets in 27% of light. Another, I'm gonna just stop saying every color is beautiful to look through because they're all beautiful to look through, but that is a rose base. All right, and then the next one that we have here is ember, but in the middle, there's a petrol that we don't have here. So uh, sorry, I don't have that one to show you. That one's got a gray base, lets in 27% of light. The ember also lets in 27% of light. Another category two lens and just pretty fun looking kind of cool lens, isn't that? That's kind of cool, I like that. Ember, what a fun name. Okay, so the next one's rose gold. I mean, I'm Sunglass Rob, you know, I don't know how much you know about me, but I love me some rose gold anything. This is another rad lens, lets in 24% of light, again in that S2 category. We're gonna be on that S2 for a couple more lenses. After that is the emerald. I'm sure you can kind of figure out why it's called emerald. It's got that green on it. I don't know, with all these lights in here and no goggle to put it in, I'm not sure if you guys are noticing 
the mirror that's actually on here because once it's like sealed into a goggle and we don't have these beautiful lights on it'd be a little bit easier to notice those mirrors but they're they're pretty heavily mirrored which is pretty cool all right after emerald is copper copper lets in 21 percent of light i don't have copper here the last one from that medium collection is the royal lens lets in 19 percent. i don't have that one here but we're going to jump into Onyx, this one lets in 16% of light. Now we're jumping into the S3 kind of sunny, clear, bluebird kind of conditions. So that's a pretty rad lens, Onyx, kind of because it's kind of blacked out. I know you probably are seeing a lot of the um, more ambery kind of color, but it, like I said, inside that goggle, you're gonna notice it a lot more. All right, this one I really like. This one's called Haze. Let's let's in 14% of light. Definitely in that category three. This one feels dark. Like this one feels soothing and dark. But again, because of that vivid technology, you're going to get a lot of contrast. The next darkest one is Envy, which I'm envious because we don't have it here. Uh, that one lets in 13% of light. And then they do have one S4 category jet black lens that only lets in 7% of light. And that thing is dark be careful if you're getting that one make sure you're using it for like extreme conditions so just a couple things to note some of the lenses have flash mirrors not every giro goggle automatically comes with vivid it's usually reserved for like the medium to nicer higher price goggles sometimes like the kids goggles you can't even get a vivid lens so just be careful when you're looking through giros if you're interested in that vivid technology that it actually is a vivid lens a lot of the giro goggles are interchangeable a lot of them come with two sets of lenses usually going to get a darker lens and a lighter lens and don't forget if you need glasses like i do do not struggle with trying to jam your glasses inside of your goggles i don't care if they say otg otg is not fun for anyone we make these amazing prescription inserts that holds your prescription you get an anti-fog coating on here it fits inside the goggle it really is a life changer game changer we love them and we guarantee them hopefully this helped you make a decision if it did give us a thumbs up we'd love for you to subscribe to our channel follow us on all the social medias don't be afraid to pick up the phone get in touch with us we have a team full of certified opticians a lot of us snowboard and ski we love talking goggles with you helping you find the best setup for you for this season and hopefully it'll snow soon